Hey guys, so thank you for joining me. Um, this is one of the bigger questions that I get asked a lot and I just thought I'd do this video post Affiliate World Asia uh, in 2019 uh, and it's about bidding, okay? So you're at the point where you got a good offer, you got a good uh, payout, you think that that's, this specific product is going to work and you've decided to push it. Um, so just like any complex thing, choosing how to start a campaign on, on Google starts simply when you have to choose the bids for the campaign, right? So how do you know where to start? Which network am I going to push it on? Uh, am I going to start with like super low bids? Am I going to get impressions? Is it going to affect the account, the overall score? what are you going to do what is the, the the right decision at any given point and this by the way uh is 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 right for almost like any type of path platform except from facebook where it doesn't really matter what targeting you'll do the 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 the, 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 the pixel there is alive and it's going to find the best con converting audience for you or at least it would try to get it so I'm going to really dive in right now uh, into the, the, the question and, and this is how I approach this, this thing. So there are basically two ways of doing it. And I'm talking about specifically when you're just opening a campaign. So it's a new project, it's a new product, it's a new campaign, it's a new account maybe, doesn't matter, but it's, it's a whole new thing. It's not just like an old account where it converted so much and stuff like that, okay? So the first approach would be lowballing the bids, start low and grow from there. So with this method, your day-to-day -day is going to be just like after, of course, getting some traffic, um, would be just raising the bids for whatever converts and whatever is not getting impressions and killing, of course, whatever is getting traffic but not converting after uh, a certain point, depending on your conversion rate and the, the creatives that, that worked. And by the way, this really sends me to another video of me uh, when I did it back in Barcelona a couple of months ago, the Wolf's pyramid of, uh, pyramid of Optimization, sorry. Uh, so you can, you can check out that video and see how to optimize and what's the correct structure and how I optimize, especially inside GDN where you have creatives, you have placements, you have a lot of different stuff and you wanna make sure you're not just killing and, and like burning traffic and money. So the first one would be lowballing the bids start low grow from there that's the first one the second one would be just like start with overall high bids and then optimize from there okay so the big benefits because because uh, your your quality score is just like uh, ctr is one of the things that that affects it you're gonna get probably uh, better quality scores you're gonna get better placements because a lot of like really high highly competitive placements uh, people really fight, so the bids there are going to be higher. Um, and and the, 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 the cons with that method would be, of course, the fact that you're going to lose some money at, at first. You're not going to be profitable from the beginning. So, um, okay, so to be honest, there, there is no right or wrong way to do it. And it doesn't even have to do anything with payouts. A lot of Guys are like approaching me and like, oh dude, but it's a low payout offer, it's lead gen, it's CPA. It doesn't really have to do with that. And I'm going to, to tell you, um, the way I approach it, um, it has to do with two things. Okay, so the, the first one starts with like two personal questions. The first one is, and, and you have to be honest with that uh, about yourself. The first one would be, how experienced are you with Google Ads? Are you just starting? Are you like really highly experienced? Are you one of those dinosaurs who used to run ads for a long time and now they are just jumping in? So ask that question. The second one would be how deep are your pockets? How much can you lose before that product gains any traction, before the campaign starts converting uh, in a profitable way? The second question would be how much would you, and it's not a personal question, of course, but it's like, how much do you believe in the sustainability of that campaign and product? Do you think it's going to be just a trend? Do you think it's going to be something that lasts for maybe a month or something? 
Uh, and I'm going to explain it right, right in a couple of uh, minutes, but the second big question would be related to the numbers. You need to know the campaign's overall average conversion rate. So in general, if you are more experienced and you have deeper pockets, and most of all, if you really believe that this campaign is just not just like a trend that's going to last for a month, maybe three months, um, and, and then basically stop, stop, stop converting. Maybe the product that you're going to push is something related to the summer and the summer is going to add. Uh, maybe it's related to, I don't know, just like something in politics, something uh, related to a certain law that is going to, to be revoked, something like that. So if, if, the, if you are more experienced, if you have deeper pockets, and if you really believe in that campaign, if all three of the, those questions apply, to this specific campaign and product. The way I would go is the second option, which is starting high with the bids and optimizing from there. So yes, you are going to lose some money at the beginning, but you're building the campaign for a larger scale. You would have an option of like, uh, you, you'll basically lose money for the first, second, maybe three months. I don't know, depending on how much you're gonna spend. But after that, you're going to have a really sustainable campaign where even if one placement, one targeting isn't working, you're going to have the rest of them and you're going to have the ability, the option of spending a lot of money, which is what you want on a large scale campaign. Um, also, about this, the, the second point with, was the, the, the overall uh, conversion rate of the campaign. So in general, the lower your conversion rate is, the more I would recommend the first option, okay? So the first option was, by the way, starting small with the bids and really like raising the bids only when a specific placement targeting is working. It's going to take you more time, but you're more likely to be profitable faster. Um, so in general, for example, in lead, in lead gen campaigns, I would start with the, 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 just like the second option, because I know that um, the, those campaigns are just like a higher uh, conversion rate. And that's something that I like to just like start big and optimize from there. But with like CPA offers where you're selling a product when something is like, you know that the conversion rate is going to be 2% maximum and, and most likely less than 1%, then I'm more likely to go with the first option, just low balling the bids and go from there. Uh, hopefully that answer is that uh, frequently asked uh, questions, which I get asked a lot. Uh, if you liked this video, please comment below, share it. Uh, I'm doing it for free just because I like to share knowledge. Thank you guys.